Well, John, it's mid-February and it has finally quit raining. And I'm here today at Big Rivers WMA. There's a lot of opportunities other than just deer and turkey season to be outdoors here, isn't there? Absolutely. This is kind of traditionally a deer and turkey area. It's kind of our focus here, but you know, this time of year, it's great for guys to get out and shed hunt plan some trips, maybe coming up this spring or in the fall, and also other outdoor enthusiasts can get out and enjoy the area. You know, we're really pretty lucky here in Kentucky. We got nearly two million acres for outdoor recreation. That's for public access, either WMAs or public hunting areas. This is my favorite time of year to get out in the woods, to walk around, look for deer sheds. Squirrel season's in, we can shoot a squirrel too if we want. But this is the time of year to plan a fall deer hunt or a spring turkey hunt. You can see which trees are nut bearing trees. You can see game trails. We don't have to worry about snakes, ticks, none of that. This really is a time of year to potentially make yourself successful in the fall for a deer hunt. This time of year, get out and spend some time on the WMAs. Any time without ticks is good. <laughs> well, I've done shed shows numerous times and normally I bring a dog, but today I brought something better than a dog. You know this property very well. <laughs> you, you know every spot you've seen them on a tractor and walking around. Yeah. So hopefully we can go pick up a couple sheds and I'd love to shoot a squirrel or two if we get an opportunity. More than anything, I just want to be outside. Absolutely. Well, let's go give it a shot. What do you think? Let's do it. You know, this area right here, this is a field that's got crops in it. We've got remnants of corn. There are some pretty good trails coming right out of this thicket right here. You can pick them out and plan ahead from there yeah. trying to figure out the pattern of these deer. You find you a patch of persimmon trees and you know the time of year that those usually come out. Might be a good idea to mark that on a map, check it with your GPS and say, hey, I'm gonna be back here in the fall. Right. You know, deer antlers are so cool. Whenever they release the chemicals that tells their body to drop them, it happens really fast, doesn't it? Yeah, they can get into some pretty serious fights with other bucks with those antlers like that, and then they can just fall off this time of year. <laughs> it's, it is amazing. You know, John, this is the very first time I've been on this piece of property, and I will tell you, to be in far western Kentucky, the terrain's a lot different than I was expecting. It's a lot different from what a lot of people think of western Kentucky as being flat and a lot of crop ground. This property is over 60% forested, and as you can tell, we got plenty of terrain out here and lots of hills that people don't expect. It's very, very rolling. You know, we're right close to Ohio River. It reminds me a lot of the terrain all up through the state, right on the Ohio River, which is different than it is just three or four miles in. Right, right. It's very hilly. I mean, it's not steep hills, it's very navigable hills, but areas where it, uh, it'd be hard to, to get a tractor in there and plant. Yeah, that's right. You know, you got this bottom that goes all the way to the river and it's all heavily wooded. You got all these ag crops up here. This is kind of a pinch point. Yep. That tree would probably be a pretty decent spot for a lock on and you got a water hole. Yep, I'll give you some ideas for the fall. If this is gonna be a piece of property that I was gonna hunt, you look around here and you see these persimmon trees and look at there. Somebody's even got a tree stand. Sure enough. <laughs> Just haven't come and got it out yet, huh? No, they're actually supposed to have them out by now and that one requires an extension ladder to take down. Okay, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> well, looky there. He's in a good spot. Right there on the field edge. Here sets our first shed of the day. Not a monster. No. But you know what? This deer made it this year, so it'll probably yeah. be a little bit bigger. This might be, you know, who knows? This might be a quality eight or 10 pointer come up this next season for the area and kind of just looking looking at the antler and knowing where the genetics are. We're probably dealing with a two and a half year old buck. I know it's really hard to tell age by the antler, but this guy's got some potential ahead of him for sure. That's awesome. Right here in the spot where we started going, you know what, this looks like a good spot for a deer stand. Walk up and find an antler. You know, there's a lot of things you can do with something like this too. I mean, everybody needs a good set of rattle antlers and you know, there's different ways you can put these on your coffee table, display something, but uh, Oh no, they're just kind of cool to find. It's like yeah. an adult Easter egg hunt. Absolutely. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be adults, bring your kids. Yep. It's something they may really, really enjoy as well. All right, well. Maybe we'll find a match up here. Could be. Let's cut through and walk this thicket edge here. These little thickets are usually hot spots around this crop field, just with the transitioning of the deer coming to the fields. Look right there. Sure enough. I don't think that's the matching side either. Looky there. Let's see there. 
you know, you go in an area that has similar genetics. These are very, very similar. I don't think it's the same, but pretty close, isn't it? It is. It could be brothers. Hey. There you go. Got us a rattle set. <laughs> Gotta be careful not get your fingers, but <laughs> very nice. Like I said, we didn't find a match pair, I don't think, but you know what? We just got started. That's right. Look here, Chad, there's a pretty nice scrape. Look at that. Got a nice trail coming out of this bottom. and Probably a communal scrape. Early fresh ones, too. Yep. Yeah, that's typically what you see in these scrapes. You even got some deer tracks in there. Look at here. There's another scrape over there. So you've got a situation where a buck has been using this and been marking their area, and there's a good chance there could be another scrape right here in this area come next year. Absolutely. Uh-oh, hold on. I think I just saw a squirrel. Walking through the woods, picking up antler sheds, taking home something for the table. You know what? You can't beat that. To be out here this time of year in February and get to come out here and do this, a lot of fun. Hold up, here's one more. There's a squirrel going up that tree right there. You see it? Yeah. All right, we gotta try to get up there to this big tree here and try to get a shot. Two sheds, two squirrels. You know, I tell you, I have spent the last three weeks in the house watching it rain, can't holly fish. The conditions have been so bad. I'm glad I'm taking advantage of today. Well, I'll tell you what, for someone who's trying to manage over 7,500 acres, I know your time is valuable. I appreciate you taking us for a walk today and showcasing all the opportunities that are out here on this Big Rivers WMA. I'm always glad to show people what we're doing here and showing off this great area. Thank you.